Wow, Joss. You made so much progress moving oh, on. No. The place looks great. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I had every intention of unpacking. <laughs> it's just Dex came over and, you know, we got a little distracted. How distracted? Girl, you and Dex are too much. You were never <laughs> like this with Cam. <laughs> yeah, well, that was a different relationship. It seems like you guys can't keep your hands off one another. Yes, I know. <laughs> were you guys always like this? No, I mean, not always. I I think I was attracted to him from the very beginning, even though I didn't want to admit that to myself. And now we're together, and the more time we spend together, I guess, the better everything else is, you know? Okay, I, I, I gotta ask. Ask me what? Were you nervous the first time you were with Dex? Nervous? I... Why are you asking? Hey, is everything okay with you and Spencer? Yeah, we're fine. We're better than ever. It's just with Curtis and school and the gallery, we barely see one another. We're never alone. The last time was the Haunted Star. This could be our only chance to feel this close again. It's just been one thing after another. I just want it to be about me and Spencer. But ever since Greenland, the timing just hasn't been right. Well, I'm sure it doesn't help that he's living with Esme. No, it doesn't. But I think Spencer found a way around that. Wait, is Spencer moving out of Laura's condo and getting his own place? I wish Spencer can't get his own apartment yet. Well, have you talked about it? It's come up before, but Spencer can't leave because of Ace, and I totally get that. I mean, he he still doesn't trust Esme. Oh, can you blame him? No, not at all. I get it. He he needs to be there for his brother. And that actually makes me like him even more. <laughs> How so? I love that he's he's there for Ace. He puts him first. It doesn't bother you that the baby's getting more attention than you? <laughs> well, I'll be getting plenty of attention this weekend on our trip. What? <laughs> Trip? Explain. Okay, well, it's just a two-day thing. Um, he's taking me to Manhattan. Trina, traveling together, that's a huge step. I know, it'll be our first time alone together, completely away from everybody. Are you ready for that? I mean, it's not like I'm rushing into it. We're both adults, and we're committed to each other. Oh, of course, totally. It's just, you know... Sex takes things to a, a new level, and I, I just want to make sure that, you know, you've thought about it. I've done nothing but think about it. <laughs> because you're my best friend, and I love you, I just have to ask. You're not feeling any pressure from Spencer on this, correct? No, I'm not feeling any pressure from Spencer. Okay, good. And you shouldn't, ever. I'm just so happy and excited to be planning a weekend away, just the two of us. Oh my God. Well, a weekend in New York? It's going to be perfect. <laughs> At first, he wanted to go to Turks and Caicos. The Caribbean? Isn't it like hurricane season or something? That's what I said. So how did you guys settle for New York? Well, first, we were going to stop in New York, and then we were going to Turks and Caicos. Yeah. And, but with school starting and I'm working at the gallery, I just didn't want to be away for that long. So Manhattan was a compromise. Well, that's a good compromise. He wants to take me to a Broadway show, and then we're going to have dinner at this hot new restaurant called oh. Essence. Oh. Well, are you going to have time for any other activities? Oh, yeah. We're staying at this hotel that has a heated pool on the rooftop. Mm. Well, I bet you're more excited to see the hotel room than the heated pool. Well, this is going to be our first time together. You and Spencer have had your ups and downs. You trust him. Yeah, I do trust him. And I believe that this is right. It feels like the right thing to be doing. Oh, I'm so happy <laughs> for you. I'm so happy for Spencer, too. That means a lot to me. I, I know you two have had your differences since you broke up with Kane. Oh, yeah, you know, I give him grief, but I know he's a good guy. I think so, too. And you are the best thing that's ever happened to him. Don't you forget it. Oh, <laughs>